Hello, this is June Universe at Ninja Intuitive. Full Moon Love Special Cosmic Energy Channeling having Chandrala as a guest psychic. Hi, Chandrala. <laughs> Hello, June Universe from California. <laughs> yes, California. <laughs> we actually was on live for talking around like a thirty minutes or so, and then realized that uh, the line has been cut off. Like Mercury has not retrograding at this point of view for the Capricorn full moon energy today. So we'd like to celebrate this fullness. Of this July 2016 full moon energy with、um, cosmic channeling opportunity to share moments、mm. with you, and then you know, Chandra, we are now available、yes. to、uh, iHeart Radio listeners. So we are reaching out more audience now. So like, I'm ex- excited to share、Bye. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I heart radio, we heart you. <laughs> so tell me about this、uh, Capricorn full moon energy from your take, Chandrara. Well, thanks, June. I'm a Capricorn, so it's been really good for me.、Uh-huh. I feel a lot of. Well, I'm ruled by Saturn, as all Capricorns are, and I even spoke with my yoga teacher about this. And it's it's favorable for us because it's in our sun sign.、Mm-hmm. And Saturn is a taskmaster. It can be a challenging full moon for people who are not ruled by Saturn, but even those who are can have some intensity. But I feel like overall, this full moon is it has a lot of aspects that are connecting with the new moon that we had on July fourth. Oh,、so、that's、like、right. It's, it's a finishing stage from what we started in the new moon. As you know, new moons、uh-huh. plant the seeds for our intentions and what we want to do. Right,、create. right. And now we're seeing some things coming to. Culmination、mm. and expanding, and and also, it's an infiltration of the that period of time. So it, it, it's it's happening from what you set your intention at that moment, at that time,、mm-hmm. in, at the new moon.、Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm seeing that for myself at least, I can see some of the things that I had intended. At the new moon, are starting to come to fruition, and I'm sure that other people are as well. And if you are, that's wonderful. Keep up the faith. If not, it's coming. Just set your intentions because we are in a very potent full moon. It's a buck moon.、Mm. It's a Capricorn moon. This is a great, powerful, powerful. Oh yeah, full moon energy. It I, is. I and, was, and also for、uh, emotions to be rising in a lot of. Intensity with、uh, I've seen other people having struggles during this full moon day. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I myself have kept it very. I, I I know for myself, I've made sure that I meditated today. I did yoga. I spent time in nature, and these are all the things that we can do to reconnect and align with our true nature and our true selves, and love ourselves and send love. Out to our community and to everyone else. So I think it's really important at this point in time.、Mm. So I I observe my point of view for this full moon is、uh, for the last couple of days, energy was building up and up and up, just like tsunami hitting into the maximum on the full moon day. I really literally feeling the building up intensity. And you're so right about reminding us about the new moon intended seed, actually、mm-hmm. um, showing up in my 
my end of uh, the experience. Like, I almost forgot about it because just so engaging to now moment, now moment. Sometimes it's just so difficult to see the forest. But this is my. This might be a good、mm. full moon to see a forest, as what we see、yes. it as a tree in the forest, as a tree, and then walking on it each day by day by day, and then realizing that whoa. You know, this is what we intended, and in somewhat, it's not exactly the way that we wanted to experience. But overall, we are getting it if you are putting the intention and walked on it. So it's like two. This cycle、right. of the new moon and then full is、uh, really.、Um, And in in my world too, and then everything else external, like a political and other planet and、uh, nature shaking, Mother Earth as an earthquake in the Far East where I'm located currently, is、uh, changing、mm. the energy. So we must be also feeding it as being part of the universe. So that core within us, our heart, our center energy. Is also connected to this universal oneness. So I'm just recommending right.、so、to right reconnecting、yes. so、to ourselves、yes. and reminding ourselves、mm-hmm. self love, reconnecting, and then walking on it. Because for the last couple of days, everybody seems to be like energy is intense, so it's very reactive、mm-hmm. to just the simple things. Even if you walk on yourself. It's you know we are all connected, so、uh, it's always nice to be comfortable with our own energy, and then from there we can extend, extend, expand. Not to be reactive to it. it's hard not to react to it sometimes, but、uh, yeah, that's the part. I really think that's the message of this full moon,、mm. uh, June. I I feel it's、uh, the message of this full moon is do not react.、Mm. Um, just just observe. And and try not to react to those around us because there's a lot of intense energy,、mm-hmm. and it's a discipline to not react because if you if you take action and react to someone who, I mean I've I've heard and seen things where people were saying that they couldn't understand where people were coming from with the energy. Right now, and and I said, just observe and let go, and and just almost take yourself out of the equation,、mm. and 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 step outside of yourself, and don't react. Wait, just observe and notice, and and then process it if you can. Try not to react because it's a very intense time right now, and. Reaction is going to create friction, and I really think right now it's a good time to step back and just take notice. Yeah, which is why I was advocating getting into nature、mm-hmm. and doing yoga and meditating and really being, really being in the present moment as much as possible. Because when you're in the present moment, you can accept and you can you can react much better when. People are reacting in a negative way. You can stay centered in your own power,、mm-hmm. which is really important right now. And、Very important. We're having a lot of political turmoil. We're having a lot of things changing in the world right now. People feel lost. People are having trouble sleeping. Of course, with、mm-hmm. this full moon, people are stressed out, overtired.、Uh, Really reactive, and、uh, but then when you go into nature right now, there's so much beauty.、Mm. Uh, here in San Francisco, we have the whales,、mm. and they're here in San Francisco Bay. So whale watching is on in July in San Francisco, and it's really exciting. I haven't myself been on the water. I've only seen video footage, but.、Mm-hmm. I know they're here, and I feel it when I go to my local beach. You feel the whale energy there. It, it's too shallow where I live, but if I went into San Francisco Bay,、mm-hmm. could, I've seen footage, and it's really exciting. They're all over the coastline right now, feeding, and it's really exciting. And so, just connecting with these cosmic、yes. beautiful beings that are in our area. 
and you understand you have a connection to Hawaii, but as I do, mm-hmm. and so you know what I'm talking about. It's really important to connect with nature right now. I say if you have a beach nearby, if you don't, go to a lake. Go to a park if you're in a city. There's beautiful city parks. And just get your feet on the earth. Take your shoes off. Get your feet on the earth and just connect yeah. with nature. And it's really going to help you with your love vibration, which is all about what we're talking about, the love, summer of love. Can it's a say? love, yeah, summer of love. Totally. So it's it's yeah. important to consciously... And love yourself because that's number one. Love yourself. Yeah, and then it's important you know? to consciously choose that information. Getting the information from Mother Nature. You know, not the mom made information from media and, you know, consuming all this mom made information. Sometimes it's good, but it's just I need a balance and、uh, realign ourselves. No, I mean, most of that information is all false anyway. It, it's, it's making you feel. It makes you feel less than yourself. Advertising is all about that. You know, they, they are trying to make you feel less than perfect. Well, we're not perfect. It's okay. We don't need to be perfect. We are perfect in our own essence, in who we are as we were born to be. You're as good as you can be, and you're wonderful and loving and loved and beautiful. As you are, whatever it is that you are doing, whatever it is that your race is, your genetics, your age, you're beautiful and you're here and you're here now. And so, what it is is about finding the love in yourself right now.、Mm-hmm. This is what it's all about. Right. So, conscious choice of the information. s And、uh, reconnecting, you know, the re- relationship with yourself and self love, and then remind、mm. that importance to one another. Any opportunity that we are able to connect with others, and just practicing it, getting back there, and then from here to loving self, like love, love, chanting,、yeah. you know, chanting, love you, love myself, and then. And then extend, expand to share. That, that is really、um, challenging, but it's a good, good、um, exercise for doing each day. And then many different ways to love ourselves, you know,、um, to breathe in, of course, as you said, is good. So, conscious breathing. It's the quickest way. Conscious、yeah. breathing.、Mm-hmm. I mean, we did mudra breathing last night. I'm really working on breath work right now. I feel it's really important. There's a lot of pollen in the air. People are having allergies. A lot of people are having respiratory problems,、mm. throat chakra problems. Oh,、And、yeah. I feel, I feel even myself has had dry throat, and、uh, I feel it's really important to keep it hydrated. I use humidifiers and Air purifiers and,、uh, and doing yogic breathing is really amazing. I, I, f- I feel strongly about it. And if you have any questions about that, you can find that certainly on YouTube. <laughs>、uh, I can't demonstrate it for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> But I know, I know that you, June, do do a breathing exercise. So shall we do it right now? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's,、uh, let's take a, a conscious let's breathing, breathing exercise,、right、taking all the air and the energy around us, including this full moon energy from our nose, counting three, one. Now, two, three. Hold it in our lungs. And then breathe. One more time. In taking all the love energy this time from the nose、mm. with the silence starting now.
That feels good. It feels really good, isn't it? It's yes. a very delicious energy. Yes. Very delicious. I think it's really important for people to, if, if you're getting uptight or stressed out about things in your life, just go into a room, go into a bathroom, go into a private space and just take some breaths. Yes. And then also shut down all the sound and just listen to the air silence. Because the latest yes. study shows that two minutes in silence will recreate the brain cells, so actually rejuvenating our brain. So how important to be in the silent, connecting to the nature, you know, shutting out all the noises, you know, noise, and then just being in, you know, hugged by a silence and nature. If you can do it, find a spot. Only like a two minutes would be enough to. Uh, that's the treat. For yourself to reconnect in to the natural, neutral self here and now, and consciously doing is the key to self-love. That's what I think. I think so too. I agree. This is beautiful, mm. and so we're sending love to all of you listeners. Oh yes, and hopefully some of you will send us some messages. But I wanted to say that, June, you and I have experienced a lot of energy mm -hmm. with the soulmate twin flame oh, yes. topic that we've oh, yes. been discussing you name over it. the last six months since our last podcast. And we've gotten a lot of feedback that's been very positive. Yes. And I just want to thank very. everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, to thank June you, everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you, because it's been very positive, and we are trying to provide a positive service for all of you, sending energy in this soulmate, love, energy, twin flame. Twin flame, sis. <laughs> burning, burning <laughs> fire is really, you know, listening to all these testimonials, a personal experience, it's so personal and it's hard to share with everyone on this podcast. But uh, mm. each story has a very deep soul connection. And then what I learned is the how uh, linear time is engaging into that soul's knowingness you know and somewhat yes. we are so trained to align with the linear time so that would make us so frustrated like living in the future and we want to have certainty in the particular connection and love relationship and respond, <laughs> response in a timely manner. What is timely? I mean, all about linear time concept. But our soul doesn't resonate to that matrix. So that's the challenge being um, human experience, human. I suppose. <laughs> yes, human. Right. Earth school is hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and then it comes down to what is most important. And then it just, and then it comes boiling down to joy and happiness in our heart. No matter what, we can love, you know, love to ourselves and love to the loved one, especially feeding the soul connection. And sometimes it, it's, um, you know, universe respond as an asynchronicity to bring that opportunity to uh, share as a uh, human experience. But sometimes it's encouraged to let that go, to, um, to be open to the next soul journey, you know. So that's, uh, that's something that universe well, everybody is, is your teacher. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that today is in, uh, I believe it's in India, it's a big guru day for honoring all of our teachers. Oh, my. Uh, I forget the term, Puranama. Oh, Don't okay. Don't quote me, but it's Guru, Guru Puranama. It's a, it's a very big day today for honoring all of our teachers. And I just want to say in the yoga community that... It's really important to honor all of our teachers, but 
not just yoga teachers or meditation teachers, spiritual teachers, but what's most important is to honor all of the people in our lives because all of you are my teachers. Mm -hmm. All of my friends are my teachers. Yes, absolutely. See, all my right. relationships are my teachers. So you're all my teachers. And so I honor all of my teachers today in honor of this holiday because, and that's one of the reasons I went to yoga today. Oh, that's <laughs> because beautiful. Because I know it's really important to <laughs> honor our teachers and everyone's our teacher. Our parents, our, our siblings, mm -hmm. our friends, our lovers, yes. our past lovers, yes. our partners, everybody. Family members. teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything, everything around us. And they challenge us. And they, they make us think, they make us react, they make us love, they make us feel all of these emotions, and they're all our teachers. So that's part of being on the earth plane, mm -hmm. is the earth experience being here now, in the present moment, we can observe all of these teachers and teachers who are spiritual teachers or people who are teaching us wonderful things about psychic ability or whatever it is that you're trying to learn uh, any kind of teacher all our teachers our school old school teachers all of those people that we went to grammar school, middle school, high school, university, all of those people think about all of our teachers. So it's really important, I think, to honor our teachers today. Mm -hmm. But especially our spiritual teachers, because that's an important part of our path. Speaking of teacher and so, teach is that love in many levels teaches us many things because love can be many forms and love can be intimate mm -hmm. romantic love can be teacher and student love can be mother and child love can be you know a uh, friend between friends friends yes and love can be other animal creatures and other you know live beings on this planet or earth or uh, this cosmic universe you know so um loving because we're all made up of love <laughs> really yeah just like shakespeare said we're all the stuff made of stars mm -hmm. so i look at the stars and i see love mm. it just translates from dimensions so i don't see even just the earth plane as the only place for love. I see love beyond into the cosmic. Yes. There's so much love around. I mean, think about it. We know that there is energy all around us. So mm -hmm. let's just bring all that love energy. In. Cosmic energy channeling for this Capricorn full moon. Yes. Love yes, for the moon. special. Yeah. Love, love, love. So set your intentions mm -hmm. for what you want to create. I know June says this all the time, so it sounds like I'm repeating what she said, but really, I... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. We're psychic sisters. We're psychic sisters. <laughs> yeah. She just visited me. I just want to say that June came to California and stayed with me for a period of time, and we had lots of wonderful discussions about the universe and cosmic connection and just the energy and so yes yeah, she, she has an uh, she has a beautiful egyptian psychic cat and uh, they are always <laughs> with me healing me talking to me and there's such a lovely psychic uh, creatures and i enjoy each moment with them they are really talkative and uh, <laughs> they are such an uh, such an a messenger and healers that around you yeah it's beautiful yeah, they're here now. They they've been hearing your voice, so they're 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 around. June. They they 
know your voice, they miss you. <laughs> <laughs> they were sleeping with June in my house, so. <laughs> 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 so the energy yes, so the cos- Egyptian energy around me for sure <laughs> yeah so the cosmic energy of love that it's always asking us to experience different type of love like a different levels of love because it, the, yeah. they uh as we grow on this life experience and then it's natural for us to go into the next level next level next level if we are staying in the same mm-hmm. place that means death you know on this life on planet earth so as long as we are on this mm-hmm. planet earth on this physical body experiencing it as a uh, body mind spirit person personality and an experience based on what we want to align as the most happy being and sharing love in a way that we can share with others so we are always yeah. encouraged to find a new way to love ourselves and love people particular person significant lover or significant person even and each of us encouraged to um, learn a different type of loves. And um, so to go into the next level, what we need is the energy of courage. <laughs> energy of courage. Um, oh, even, I think that's a very good message. Yeah, even if we know I about above neck. Right now. And faith, I really think it's important to have faith and trusting that everything is in perfect timing. Wherever you are right now, this is so important to me. And I feel in many of the soulmate and twin flame uh, questions that I've been getting, Mm -hmm. and I'm sure you have too, I really feel the key is to stay in the present moment. It's very hard to do, and I'm not negating that but what I'm saying is trusting and having faith that when the time comes that energy is going to align in the proper moment but it's so hard to keep that trust and that faith when people are having for instance, twin flame runners. This is this is an issue that many people are talking about right now. People who are running away from their twin flames. They feel too much energy. They can't deal with it. Mm. It's too intense. They don't know how to communicate properly because of their own feelings. They're such deep past life karmic feelings. Mm-hmm and soul agreement on another level and other planes they can't even process it so so many people are dealing with this this absence this distance this this disconnect and so what i wanted to say to everyone is just just have faith that when the time is right Mm -hmm. that will realign when it is meant to be Mm-hmm. So, but I, I love what you said about courage because I think that everybody needs to have courage right now. Yes, the courage is to allow ourselves to full our knowingness, and in a way that we need a skill to follow. Just like you know, learning other skills. This is all about emotion. Love is emotion, you know. So how we want mm. to use this energy, emotion that love is uh, bringing to our heart, and we want to express this, not explain, complain, but express this feeling to connect with other human being based on the soul knowing, like spirit guiding. So as a human being, we must educate ourselves, the how part. You know, we all love how to do it. But, but actually, that's not the manual. You got, to, you got to open to yourself and open heart. That requires courage. <laughs> <laughs> People have written books on love. People have written books on twin flames and soulmates. 
there's no formula because the soul wants the soul wants the soul like the <laughs> way we are you know the way we're wired is there's all this karma and past life and the energy i mean we can't control it so there's nothing you can do so if someone lets you go let them go Mm -hmm. Let them go. Go live your life. Go do your thing. So many they're of my... Come back. If they're supposed to come back, if they're meant to come back, they're going to come back. Yeah, I if often... If they really love you, they can't not come back because that's meant to be. If, if it's meant to be, you have a soul agreement on a karmic level, you're going to come back. Nobody owns anyone, okay? Nobody. It doesn't matter if you're married, you live with someone you're dating someone, nobody owns anyone. We have our own free will. Nobody can affect free will. So our souls want what they want. Our hearts want what they want. So your perfect partner is going to come to you. What's meant for you will come to you. Mm -hmm. It cannot pass you by. Mm -hmm. So I often ask by my clients that knowingness of the soul connection and don't know what to do with it, to connect from there, mm. cannot move on yes, to the I, next. I, 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 but we must, right. we, we know the connection in the levels, energetically, telepath, telepathically. However, as long as we are in a human body and practicing into the physical the love in the linear time schedule matrix, and then we must take action. I mean, as long as uh, knowingness need to be taking action, that two different state seems to be a challenge because the ego kicks in, because of the beliefs, and then because oh. of the fear of oh, uh, the losing ego something. Kicks in so much. The <laughs> ego is a big factor. I mean, this... I mean, this is why we have to remove the ego. The ego is, a, is not your friend, okay? <laughs> this is not your authentic self, okay? Your, uh, your authentic self is not your ego. Your ego needs to be... Your ego needs to have 5,000 friends tell you how wonderful you are <laughs> on Facebook. That your person. Ego needs, your ego needs your audience to tell you how wonderful you are after a live performance. Your ego needs everyone in your family to tell you that you're the one that's special. Your ego wants all of that and will find a way to attract as much of that as is possible. But that's not even real. Mm -hmm. Because that's not your authentic self. Mm -hmm. The ego wants all of that information, but it's really actually you that needs to provide that one ingredient of you loving yourself nobody can do that for you mm -hmm. nobody can make you happy no. nobody can fulfill you no nobody can feed your ego it's all temporary because when it comes down to it it's back to your soul and you mm -hmm. and that's that's it you just have to love yourself yeah, and then that self-love will become a protection that to when you take action with courage and you can deal with the fear of rejection. It is okay if it's not getting the what you thought it would be. You know, there's a many millions of and reasons. And if somebody doesn't like you, so what? If somebody deletes you, so what? If we can move on somebody, from the so fact. What? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't even matter because there's you know, many other souls out there you know out there in the cosmic offer. brothers there and sisters. So many souls out there that love and value you because you know your value. You don't need anyone to validate who you are because you know who you are and what you have to offer and you'll know the ones who really value you because they're in your life. They're mm -hmm. here. They're here. Totally. They're here. Mm -hmm. So, like you are. 
to me, June. Yes, we are psychic sisters <laughs> connecting yeah. in the many realms and the many dimensions and part of a psychic reality happening. <laughs> and, uh, so it's nice. To, it's, uh, it's, we get it on a big cosmic level. Oh, it's so lucky to have that sisterhood connection. We go all the way back. We're going to fifth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of dimensions that we're connected on. So, so if I you're lucky enough to find uh, <laughs> other souls in the human body, like we found as in the psychic sisters, that's a gift. That's yes. a really a gift. And it then is. there's out there like a, you know the soul brothers of course out there and you know these people are like a yes. family. When you connect, you know even if you're not seen for years and years, like they're just available for you to you know to redirect your attention and coming back home. If your soul knows that, feel home. So when you're listening here and then you feel like somewhat, <laughs> what we are saying here is connecting to your soul. Maybe you feel like a skeptical about what we are sharing here, but some part of you resonating, then you may be a cousin or someone in the soul level. Hey, you could be you could be somebody we already knew or met or talked to and and want to reconnect or you want to reconnect with people you haven't reconnected with. And I really encourage people to do that because think about those people you connect with like that. You miss them on a soul level, don't you? Oh, it's, yes, totally. It's resonating. Mm. Uh, I know I, I have some friends that I, I really miss. Mm -hmm. And they've gone their own path. Mm. And that's their own choice or free will. And bless them on their way. Mm -hmm. But I would really like them to come back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because totally. I know they resonate with me mm -hmm. and we connect on a really good deep level. But mm -hmm. if that's not happening, that's that's their path and I respect that and bless that. That's what they want. But I know that the people in my life are really I'm really grateful for the people who are interacting with me now in the present moment and I'm reacting with them and we're connected and I really feel special bonds with but mm -hmm. I feel like right now is a great time to reconnect with people who we've lost contact with over the years mm. yeah let us use this full moon energy to reconnect with what our hearts mm. connecting the loved one including including that loved one went to the other side perhaps you know inviting yes, this think so. cosmic energy and they are Beautiful. they are here with us each now moment they are yeah yes and their awareness and you and i both are mediums we we do mediumship we have i know that june and i both have worked with many clients helping people with connecting mm. on the other side and i feel that they are still with us so if you're listening right now and you recently lost a loved one or even in the past lost a loved one we just want to say that they're here with you now and they love you and and they're not gone they're here yeah so that uh, how do you know i mean how you confirm it's the um the sign just like a developing intuitive abilities when we notice something and then frequently noticing something in the context that you can connect all this information as a dot to connect with the person's characteristics. And then uh, mm -hmm. why don't you open to the idea that's the message from that person? You know, it's like unexpected, like, whoa, this is weird that all of a sudden this showed up. And, you know, that could be could be open to the idea of that could be the sign. And then when you take a I note. I have a client that. Mm -hmm. I have a client that her mother passed away and she knew she, she always bought shoes on a Christmas after Christmas sale. Mm -hmm. And she got out of a taxi right after her mother passed away mm -hmm. and her and she was walking and there was a roll of bills and she got a roll of a thousand dollars from her mother. 
And I know for a fact because I channeled it and she knew it was from her mother and I channeled this information for her and her mother confirmed that that was a gift for her to go buy designer shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody nice. dropped it out of a taxi. <laughs> but her mom made sure she was the one who got it. So she got it and it was right after and she knows it was her and we we did a channeling and her mom spoke and said that she did that that she made sure she got that so our loved ones give us signs maybe not a thousand dollars that's a pretty lucky one <laughs> uh, I, I, i've had my grandmother left me messages my other grandmother left me signs uh i've gotten stones and daisy chains and coins and th things that were significant to me <laughs> our loved ones leave us messages so don't think they're not with us they're they're trying to communicate with us and let us know that they're there and they are they are there yeah and then yes. each message and then each way is unique to that connection so it's up to us to be open to it but I'm sure that when you take a note out of it, that each experience, and then you see the pattern of the way that you are getting some, uh, some that kind of signs, and then you, that information will give you a good idea that who is sending the messages, and then what kind of messages, and what they want to tell you about. So that's gonna be your, you know, good um, exercise and project for you to connect that open to the channel to loved one went to the other side for this full moon yeah and i want to just uh i would just want to say that june you've been offering these absolutely wonderful three minute quickie readings i think it's a great service She's oh thank you oh thank you no you've been wonderful i've been listening to you all of, I've listened <laughs> to every single one i just love to listen to june she's fantastic <laughs> and really if you're listening right now and you haven't done it it's a free service yes you can ask a question it can be about a loved one that's passed away it could be about a soulmate it could be about your career or life path just send her a message she'll tell you how yeah you can go to uh www mm -hmm. right now for you every week <laughs> Yeah, so you can go to the www.thatfuturefocuser.com, www.thatfuturefocuser.com. Thank you, Chandrala. So there's a form up there and nine different categories that you can uh, choose and and then pick your uh, symbol, whatever that would be, like a, a apples or, you know, vegetables or any fruit or whatever that you can choose for the, the symbol for your question. Because I like to read blindly to deliver a pure intuitive insight so that help you as a resource to get the idea for choosing for the next step. You have a power to choose. If you're not resonating, just don't take it. But if it's resonating, something helpful for you to create the better next step. So thank you, Chandra, for we have another one minute to wrap up a full moon cosmic energy channeling special. Okay, well, uh, thank you for having me on the show, and thank you. Thank you for, for coming. Thank you for lovely us. presence. I always happy to have your presence here, Chandrala. Thank you so much, <laughs> and I really just want to send out the message of mm. just, just connect. Mm. Just connect. Mm. We're all one. Yeah. In love. Thank you. So my message for this full moon is to allow your heart to guide action. This is June Universe and Chandrala at Ninja in Twitter. Chandrala, thank you. Full I'm moon, love special. <laughs> And we see you special love summer soul connection twin flames pops. Oh, we have something special planned for you on twin flames and soulmates that we're compiling with lots of information. So get your questions ready. 
we're, we're ready for you. All right. So we, June will announce the date soon. So okay. We have very busy schedules. We both travel and have lots of clients and business and so but we're 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 trying to coordinate our schedule but we are going to Yay. Look forward to connecting with you. Thank you. Right.